Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about programming and in this video I will cover these three important points while writing the code in the ABAP editor. Especially from the freshers point of view, these points are very important. Suppose I am getting lots of queries, they are not getting the editor which I am using. Suppose many times I am getting the query, they are unable to write the code in the ABAP editor. How to zoom in and zoom out in the ABAP editor. So these points, especially from the freshers point of view, it's extremely important. Suppose I will go for first point. Suppose you all know SC38 is the transaction code for ABAP editor. Suppose I am going for SC38 transaction code. I am giving some program name. Suppose first letter is Z or Y. Suppose I am saying Z sample underscore program. I am just creating a sample program. I will go for suppose create button. I will give some serial number. I will go for create. I am giving some title to the program. Suppose sample program. I will take the type as executable and I will save this as a local object. This is the ABAP editor which I am using. Now many people are saying they are not getting the ABAP editor like which I am using. Suppose they are saying they are not getting the keywords in blue color. It means you are using a text-based editor. You are using a text-based editor. We have two types of editor. One is your source code based editor and one is another is text based editor. Suppose if I will go for utilities and I will go for settings. We are able to see editor. Editor is of two type source code based editor and text based editor. I am using source code based editor and yes. It might be the case you have using a text based editor. Suppose at that time, what you need to do? You need to just go for utilities, settings, and you just need to change the editor from text based to source code based. Suppose as of now, if I will show you how text based look like, suppose I'm choosing this radio button. I will go for OK. Suppose if I will go for back button and come again, if I will go for change or display, this is the editor which you are getting at that point of time. You are not wrong at that point of time. Yes, you just need to go for changing the settings. So you just what you need to do, you can go for utilities. This is a text based editor. Suppose if I will write the code in the text based editor, it will not give any suggestion. If I am using a source code based editor, if I will go for data, it will show me in blue color data, then I can put tab. It's this is a keyword. But if you are going for text based editor, it's just like a simple text. It's very difficult to write the code in the text based editor. So what you can do, you can simply go for utilities, settings, and you can use source code based editor. And this is the answer of so many people, especially from the freshers. Now, if you see, yes, I want to go for save. If I will go for now change mode of the program. So this is, this is source code based editor. So you can change the editor by this way. Now we will go for second point. Second point is extremely important because it is not dedicated to freshers especially intermediate experience, anyone can do this kind of mistake. Suppose I will go for SIM. Suppose I am writing the code in the program. Suppose I am writing data tab. I am declaring one variable. Suppose I am writing LV underscore data 
type C. Suppose I'm putting dot. Yes, it is a period. Suppose now many people are saying whenever they are writing the code in the ABAP editor, their letters are getting overridden. How, how they are getting overridden and they are getting a black symbol in the editor. This is extremely important point. See, whenever you are getting a black symbol in the editor, it means your insert button is pressed from the keyboard. Just now I will show you. Suppose I am pressing insert button from the keyboard. Are you able to see? I am getting a black symbol. This is what you are getting. And because of that, your letters are getting overridden. You can check on Google. Insert, insert, yes, insert means we can either insert or we can override. Whenever you will go for now, I pressed insert. Now it will override the character. Suppose, now suppose this is black symbol there. Now, if suppose if I want to give the length here, suppose I'm going for opening bracket. If I will go for one, have you seen T is replaced by one? Suppose if I will go for this, if I want to give zero, Y is replaced by zero. Suppose if I want to close the bracket, P is replaced by is closing bracket. This is what you are doing at that point of time. So at that time, you need to simply press the insert button from the keyboard. Now the letters will not be overridden. This is the most common mistake. Yes, and it's not dedicated to fresher. Anyone can do this kind of mistake. So just check. Do you have an insert button pressed from the keyboard? Yes. You just need to press it again because whenever the insert is pressed, it means at that time it will act like a override. Suppose if I want to, now I press the insert button, I'm not getting a black symbol. Now I can simply write, if I want to go for this, now I can simply insert. Suppose if I will go this, if I will go for type C, now insert is not pressed from the keyboard. Suppose I'm removing this 10 and if I want to put 10, I can simply put 10. I will go for this. Now the characters are not getting overridden. So just make sure whenever you are getting black symbol and your characters are getting overridden, just press the insert button from the keyboard. Now third important thing. Now people are saying yes. Their screen is very, their ABAP editor is very, very small. They want to zoom in or zoom out. Suppose if I will go here, yes, it's look big. Yes. Now, if I will go for zoom in, zoom out, how you are doing zoom in and zoom out. Just simple. Just press insert button from the keyboard. I'm going for mouse scroll, mouse scroll in the outward direction. Suppose if I will simply go mouse scroll in the outward direction. Mouse scroll in the inward direction, outward direction, inward direction. So this is the process of zoom in and zoom out. So what is the summary of this particular video? Important video, especially from the freshest point of view, because so many queries are coming like this and it's not their fault because at the initial level, anyone can do these kinds of mistakes because we are not friendly with the ABAP editor. First important point, you are not getting the editor like me, which I am using. At that time, you are using a text-based editor. Editor is of two types. You have text-based editor and source code-based editor. So at that time, you can simply, simply change the settings. You can go for from text-based to source code-based editor. You can just go to back button and then you can come, you will get the editor which I am using. Second, most, most important point into this particular video because this they waste so many time on this particular thing itself. They are writing the code in the ABAP editor and their code is getting overridden. Suppose if I will press insert, now if I want to give, suppose if I want to simply, simply give something here, my characters will be overridden. Yes. 
So at that time, your insert is pressed from the keyboard. Insert is acting like a override at that point of time. So you just need to press insert from the keyboard. Then nothing. You can simply, simply write the code. Yes, it's good now. Now nothing will happen. Yes. Third thing, how to zoom in and zoom out. Simply go for control button from the keyboard. If you want to zoom out, just go for mouse scroll outward direction. Now mouse scroll inward direction. So these are the important points while writing the code in the app editor. So that's it in this video. Thank you.